Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Metabots Raku Show. In the last part we accessed the Rubber Rubber Secret Hideout, and now we're in the secret meeting room that they mentioned last part, which has some weird stadium in the middle. Okay. Today we sent our new subleader. I can't wait to see who gets chosen. The subleader's gonna get a new outfit. There's a metal implant in it. Implant? Implant means uh oh yeah, so kinda like buried inside. Where? Since it's a metal, it's most definitely gonna be in the head. Wait, that's horrible, we'll die. Or we come to sub leader's gonna die, right? I don't wanna be a sub leader anymore. God, they're so incompetent. How are you doing over here, sir? The leaders still aren't here. I'm so bored. Kill time with me. And we're forced into a row battle, which I'm skipping past because we've seen the Octobad team before. Knocked about, whatever. Still not here yet. You, go and call him. Okay. We actually fought a lot of repeat battles this part, by the way. Quit wandering around. Go and sit down with the others. Hunt to my way! Ow! That's actually some considerable strength there, by the way. Oh man, they're all here. And walking very slowly. I don't know why the game does this. Stop messing around and sit down! Ugh. Well, I guess we're being dragged into this whole thing, aren't we? Great. Also, I recommend saving because you're coming up on a lot of fights. Our plan to attack Metaropolis using an army of children has failed. There's somebody besides the Selectco who keeps interfering in our plans. This is not acceptable. Ah, uh, gee, I, I wonder who's been doing that. Here, it's this guy. He stole my password idea. What are you talking about? He stole my awesome password. You know, mountain shall be coming around it. That's... I don't want to listen to your excuses. You're a dirty thief. Coming from a rubber robo. Oh, shut up! What are you arguing for? Actually, is uh, 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 What are you complaining about, then? Go and settle it with a row battle! Let's do it! What? Are you serious? I guess, well, mind you, it's kind of hard for Rubber Robo to be serious, but, oh, well, I guess we have to fight him! Uh, I forget what team he uses, but we, we've seen it before. It's a, it's a generic Rubber Robo battle. Uh, Haniwa, Gorum, and something else. I think this one's, uh... Oh, Fox Uno! I actually forgot that this one even showed up. Rabaho! Well, that happened. Uh, let's go talk to Sea Slug, I guess. Since we won that. Huh. You're pretty good. What's your name? Uh, Iki. Um, Robo 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 Robo. I'll make you a candidate for sub leader. Now, other candidates, step forward! Huh? Where's the other one? He got a golden head dress. I caught it too. <laughs> No complaining! Get on the stage! This will decide the new sub-leader! Uh, I guess I have to fight. Well, uh, apparently there's a sub-route where you can become a Rubber Robo. Just like that old rumor for Pokemon Yellow, or was it Red or Blue, that you could join Team Rockets on the bridge? Get on the stage? Uh, yep. Robo Row Battle! It's another usual fight. I think this one has a flat stick. Yep. So let's get past that. Robo! You know, maybe the Rubber Rose would be more successful if they used more than the same six Metabots. <laughs> Just saying. Mind you, Team Rocket and every team in Pokemon has had the exact same issue. Also, I should take a note of what my setup's looking like right now. Have, make sure no matter who you're bringing in, they have three victory armors. That was a good fight! It's decided! You're the new sub-leader! Um, I'll just be going now. Whew, I didn't get a berry, metal buried in me. Oh uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. The next sub-leader Inky has decided. Now let's decide on the name for the new sub-leader. It must be Kid's Leader. That's pretty lame. <laughs> I think Metal Leader is much better. Since we're planting a metal into them, Metal Leader isn't such a bad name. Fine, Metal Leader it is. Here's the new uniform with the metal implanted in it. Try it on, now. I'm too embarrassed. Aren't you wearing clothes underneath? How are people supposed to follow the leader without knowing his face? But, who oh, is another reason you're not taking your clothes off? I it's you! Who are you? I've seen you around before. I know I've seen that face. You! How can I forget the face of the one who's constantly foiling my plans? Well, how about this then? Why don't you join the Rubber Rebel Gang? If you beat me, you can still be a sub leader. Now show me what you've got. It's still the Chimera Raider team and the, uh, Stone Mirror team, I think. No, the Shaman team over in Meta B. 
Uh, nothing too hard. You've seen this before. Speed up theme for this part, by the way, is Divine Bloodlines, I think is the title of it, from Castlevania Rondo of Blood. A uh, really good song. Mind you, the entire game had a kick-ass soundtrack. As with last time, Victory Armors basically make this uh, fight a non-issue because they'll only be doing physical damage to you with no status effects. And the other versions are already easy as it is because the most they'll try to do is use impair abilities on you. And otherwise just be doing physical attacks. I am really... Uh, that's actually one of the biggest issues I have with this game. They don't change up the bosses enough. It's usually just refining the same three or four. And that's... Not too smart on the design front in my eyes. But I got goat attack. Cool, I guess. And I got another goat attack. Cool, I guess. Very good. Now I see. If we ask you to, you still won't join us, will you? No matter. Do you think I'd let someone stronger than me become a sub-leader? Capture him! We've beaten you all before, you know. Ugh, now I'm in trouble. Big trouble! The Slight Corps found our hideout and invaded! Talk about bad timing! What do we do? What do we do? Silence! Okay, bye. Just gonna leave without another word? Okay. I, I guess they are kind of rushing, but I could have delayed them, I suppose. Ah, it looks like I'm saved. Even the slug core comes in handy every now and then. I'll just wait for them to show up. Well, let's get on out there and see them then. I'm gonna wait for the slug core to come. Okay, Icky, make up your goddamn mind. Uh, let's investigate this thing, I guess, to spare the time. It's a strange shaped ta statue, but I can't see it clearly from here, though. Okay, investigate the front of it. What's the deal with this statue anyway? It looks like a big ant. I'm curious to know what it is. I just sort of sound like. Holy metaroli! That surprised me! I bet I really like that style! You know, the whole secret passage deal. It's all too predictable for a secret passage, though. We've also found a hidden ladder! What? Everyone, down the ladder! It's the Slight Corps' voices! If I see them here, no doubt, things are gonna get complicated. There's no other way, so let's move forward! Ow, my legs! Ow, 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 Man, talk about trouble. Even if I wanted to go back, I can't. I don't even know where I fell from. Ugh, might as well go forward. I recommend saving, and by the way, it's still a sidebar environment down here, so just be prepared. More food has fallen down. We must take it to the queen. This is one of the most interesting row battles in the game against this ant metabot, because this is the one fight that you're required to do in the game, and not the one in general, that has a customized metabot. Uh, the green half of it is the Antacker line, the red half is the Antilger line. And the reason it's split up like this is because on its own, this thing would not be able to do anything if it was one or the other. Uh, because the Antilger and the Antacker line, uh, their entire ability is to set up a team attack attack and use the team attack attack, which is really redundant sounding. The green sets it up, the red uses it. And you want to kill this thing quickly because uh, team attack is kind of lethal. Uh, not instant kill, but it does enough. Uh, trust me, you'll see it later on. Uh, thankfully, I think the moment you get rid of, like, either one of its arms, you're basically good. Especially if it's the red arm. But this fight can be troublesome, especially if for some reason you're extremely underleveled and can't do enough damage to hit this thing easily. And that's all I have to say about it. Uh, that's the setup for team, set up for team attack right there, but... Um, this fight in particular is very not, uh, it's, yeah, not worth worrying about it because it takes two turns to attack, whereas the usual Antacker and Antilger line can usually do that in one turn, I think. I forget if the Antilger is faster or not. Nothing too hard, especially with three versus one, honestly, but watch out in the case it gets to get damage off because it will hurt, especially if it aims for your leader. Let's see what parts we got here. We get... Sagittarius Base. Uh, wheels. It's okay, I guess. Decent armor and propulsion. This food is strong. I need reinforcements. Okay, bye. Alright, let's continue on and run into another row battle. 
this is the proper until Jordan and Tacker fight, as well as having another th uh, no, a new metabot we haven't run into yet, I believe, at this point, Rollerman. Rollerman is basically another defense metabot. Uh, its head and right arm and left arm all use half block, which blocks uh, weaker attacks. And that's about it. It's basically there to defend the Antacker and Tilger from taking any damage before you can destroy any parts that would have been able to make the team attack not be able to go through. That was kind of poorly worded, but oh well. Uh, the best way I can go through it, really, is try to do as much damage to one of the ants as fast as you can so that you can take one of them out so you don't have to suffer team attack, because otherwise this guy's going to be in your way. Uh, thankfully... Uh, well, actually, first off, I brought in Sacrifice for these fights because uh, it's really good to use this as early as you can. Because then you might be able to completely just destroy one of the two ants. I think that's the first time I've used that since we got that in, like, part nine or something. Well, it took over half the game to do it. Though, I, I, I probably should say, uh, some of you probably expected when I said halfway through, like, around part 15, as meaning we're, this would end around part 20. But nope, this is ending in the 30s. Also, this is team attack. There go my legs. There goes my arm. And there goes my other arm. Tis but a flesh wound. And there goes about a third of my head health. Team attack is dangerous, and it can attack your head first if you're not good with defense chances or you just aren't really high armored. So watch out and try to do as much damage as fast as you can, because otherwise this fight can suck. And that's all I have to say about it. Uh, thankfully, I do believe they need to reestablish team attack after using it once. So if you can manage to destroy one half before it gets the chance to do it again, you should be good. Especially if you just take out the Antilger right off the bat, because then you're basically fine for the rest of your life. And get used to seeing these guys. Uh, not so much in the future, but more so in the rest of this area. They are everywhere. Uh, like, there's only... Uh, three, no, four fights down here. There's this one, the Halfling we fought before, the Sonic Tank Mega Fan combination, and I believe, uh, two of those Snowman Metabots from Metabot Island. Are you new? Um, what is this place? This is where children try to come, escape becoming Rubber Robo Gang members get tossed. That's horrible! I thought I'd saved all the children caught by the Rubber Robos. It's not so bad. The ants bring us food and play with us, too. We're never bored. Okay, then. This place is a convenience store. We know about the secret hideout. Uh, this place is here just so you don't screw yourself over. Because you need to buy scorpion dog parts. Uh, or at least have a scorpion dog head. Uh, because otherwise, you're not going to be able to progress very much farther. Uh, thankfully, by this point, you should hopefully have one or two. But if you don't, that they did that just so you don't end up being in a dead game. Because uh, games that accidentally let dead games happen are not very well designed games. Hey, big guy, why don't you rub out the ant? This guy seems interesting. Uh, this is pretty interesting because this guy's another one of the halfling ants. And you can fight him an infinite amount of times, I believe. So if you want easy experience points and need to grind up a little bit, this guy's the guy for you. The ant metabots keep calling us food. You don't really think they'll eat us, do you? Nah. Ah, I'm sorry, Mama. I won't say I want to be a rubber rubber anymore. Oh, no. Don't cry. Don't cry. Creepy. So this is that strong food. The two of us will take it. I'll take it to the queen myself. It's just Ant Hilger and Ant again. Hmm, we've got trouble. Move out more troops. Okay, bye. This part of the plot's weird, <laughs> honestly. Captain, this is our target. The three of us must beat him back. Nobody's allowed to enter the room with the, of the queen without the permission. It's the exact same fight as before. This food is really strong. I must report this to the queen. Okay. Your majesty, we've gotten some new food. Capture him and tie him up, Robo Robo. Did I just hear Robo Robo Robo? As you command, your majesty. Robo battle here. Same fight. I, I can't fight anymore. My stock of meta parts has run out. I guess that means that he's down to three meta parts or something. And here we get 50 bucks. Another five bucks. Another five bucks. And up in the top left is the most important thing. Another female tinpit. I believe this is the third one. I think. 
Our captain is beaten. What do we do now? I uh, already read that line. Our captain is beaten. Wow, you guys are really hive minds. This is the same statue as the one in the meeting place. Then the statue that the Antechers think is the queen could be... I should try to melt this with melt. Do I have any metabots equipped with scorpion dog? I don't have any equip uh, metabots equipped with scorpion dog. I better hurry and equip it. That's why you need one. This is the same statue, blah, 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 blah. I should try to melt this with melt. I have any parts with that equipped today. Okay, let's give it a shot. Metabot attack. Ah, what are you doing to the queen? One more time. Hmm? The queen. Rabaho. The queen was a fake. The ant metabots thinking she was the real queen protected her as such. What have we done? Were we manipulated by the Rubber Rubble Gang? How are we supposed to go on living now? Hey, you can come to our house. I is it okay? You wanted to play with us, didn't you? All you wanted to do was work. Didn't matter what it was. My parents run a shop back home. You can always help them. Really? Really? But we can't get out, right? Leave it to us. We'll get you guys outside. Really? Yay! This was kind of pointless. Shall we go together? If you want, we can take you back now. I'm... Thanks, but no thanks. I still something I have something I want to check out by myself. Take care. And we'll never see them again. Save, by the way. What's back there? What have all these ant men about to be manipulated into doing? Now let's take a look. What the hell? Ah, uh, The ending of Mega Man Battle Network, apparently. Uh, let's check out what's to the right. What is this place? Huh? It says, beware of cavins and falling rocks. Keep quiet from this point on from all antackers. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this place. I'm going back for the time being. All right, I guess let's try that central door then. What the hell? That's like a giant metal in the middle. It seems like I could put something into the center of this. Who is there? Ah, it's Dr. Ormond. Huh? Oh, it's you, boy. I see you've made it this far. Um, what is this place? I just have no clue at all. You mean you haven't found the ruins yet? Ruins? What ruins? The ancient ruins where the legendary Fune Stone sleeps. No matter what the cost, I must have that stone. Fune? What's that? You haven't figured it out yet? Why do you think I brought you here? I wasn't standing in front of the statue just to get girls. What? You mean you're trying to get guys too? <laughs> That's completely wrong. There was only one reason I was even looking out for you. I thought you'd be of more use to those rubber robos, and I was right. Doctor, how are you related to the rubber robo gang? You can think of me as their sponsor. I'm the one responsible for building the underground base in Metropolis. I'm the one who used the Antakas to dig underneath the ground. All of it was for the Fune Stone. What's he planning? Iki, the time has come for you to repay me for all I have done for you so far. Which is what? <laughs> no, seriously, we've, you've done basically nothing for us. I want you to search for the ancient ruins. Fine, but if you're planning anything evil, I won't help you. Such impudence. But are you sure about what you just said? The ancient ruins hide the secrets of the Metabots. You want to know too, don't you? I... that is... Uh... <laughs> I found you! Rubble, 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 rubble. The lonely bloom of evil, Gilgur of the Rubber Robos has arrived! You should consider this beating an honor bestowed on you! Uh, uh, you really don't give up, do you? <laughs> now everybody, find the ancient ruins. The one who shoots many times will eventually hit the mark. <laughs> the doctor has commanded us and the race has begun. We'll play tag. Hurry and run away. I'll chase you. Okay, then. But with that weirdness, I'm going to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. And in part 22, I guess we'll start looking for those ancient ruins while running away from Gilgirl. See you guys then.